Okay, well I've decided installing an amp meter on this is well too destructive to the welder itself. I still want this to remain a MIG welder. Uh, if it unintentionally burns out because of using it as an electrolysis power supply I won't be so pissed off but I don't want to go uncrimping aluminium wires because I can't solder or crimp them again. And the whole lot's bundled together up in there. That's the one I've got to put the meter across before it goes into the DC choke coil. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go blind right here. I never needed an amp meter on uh, electrolysis and all I know is there's going to be a shitload of amps going through this. So, let's go power on. Humming away. Beautiful. Immediate work. I'm going to take that car wheel out there, weld a post to it, which I've also picked out of the scrap bin, and make an anode to sit inside there somehow. I'll have to find a way to get it in there. But it does actually work without it. And it'd be nice to have something in there. Well, that's working all right. A nice foam of hydrogen bubbles building up. Now, the weld is rated at 120 amps, uh, 19 volts in one mode. I think it's mode one. Uh, we'll switch at the middle switch at the bottom. That's mode two, which is uh, according to this, uh, 30 amps at 15 volts. So it's low voltage. Either 30 or 32 volt on across the electrode at the most. So it's very low voltage actually. I can get a ton of juice out of it. And this thing is really stewing. It's going nuts. Good. Just keep an eye on the electrolyte temperature as somebody suggested. It does get a bit warm. But not too concerned about that. I can top it up. It's a steel tank. It's not going to melt anything. Oh, well, there it goes. You see the little current building in there. Everything's flowing around. Nice. Yeah, one base. This is a scrap photocopier disc which I modified for some reason. Uh, it's obviously useless at the moment, so turn it into an anode. And see this. Ground a lot of the paint off. Just weld that about halfway down and that'll do it. There we go. Doesn't have to be 100% straight or concentric, it's only an anode. Just jam a couple of old bolts in there and weld them in. Even the base plate's warped from the heat. So it doesn't matter. Gap either side, maybe a little less on that side, but yeah. Of course I only do this when the tank's off. Yeah. Tricks just to get it fairly central. A little bit deeper than I thought, but it's working. Pretty good. Just make up a strap. There. coming off the outside, not a lot coming off the inside yet. Uh, little bubbles. Which is working alright. I actually have a look at the power meter and see what it's doing. I'm not running any air conditioners or anything at the moment, so it should give me a rough idea how much amperage I'm pulling. Mm, not too bad.